What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. Uh, it was against uh, the South Korean far, um, farming clan. Nothing too, too special. Getting quite a few of these lately. Uh, maybe it's the time of our search right now or something like that. Uh, but as you can see, 7465, they actually did uh, pretty decent compared to a lot of other farming clans we face. Um, they use 50 to 60 attacks, kind of gave it their best. Didn't even give, a, give Moose a shot there. Um, and as you can see... Missed quite a few of us. <clears throat> uh, they also had a huge Town Hall 10 advantage. So they had 13 Town Hall 10s to our... What was it? I should know this. Sorry, guys. <laughs> to our 5. And Adam just went up to 10. Like, brand new. Um, Ivan's fairly new. Uh... Oh, sorry, and Dirty, I believe, just went up as well, and he's brand new as, uh, on top of it. Um, so really, 9.5s, we had like three tens and three 9.5s there, but uh, we still prevailed. 74 to 65, fantastic job, cleared up all these Town Hall 9s, like no problem. They did have two Town Hall 8s on the bottom, um, so nothing too, too amazing, but we did have a couple really nice triples, and... Uh, some basic attacks that I want to kind of show you on some, uh, some forward bases, maybe help you guys out in, in some of your random matchups. So let's just jump in right here and check out. Oops. Not mean to do this one first, but we'll show the other one next. So this is Ivan on their number nine. Um, brings the five golem attack here. Really just going to push right into this core. He ends up coming away with the two. Oops, sorry about that. <clears throat> He ends up look, he's looking for the just the guarantee two here, but ends up coming away with the three star, uh, I should say. So uh, funnel goes down, king's gonna walk right in there. The jump spell is down, kind of letting everything right through to that queen. The single target inferno is locked on to, or sorry, multi target inferno is locked right on all those golems. King doesn't even get touched. King walks in, beats down that queen. Gonna go ahead and. Oop, sorry about that. Uh, he's going to go ahead and just rage everything up. Uh, poison goes down, helps take care of that CC troops. The queen's moving in, right? Like all these wizards, everything just kind of moves perfectly while these golems are getting great tanking value off uh, both those multi-infernos, just all of them locking on. Finally, that king does get locked on by one of the infernos, but... Um, at this point, look, this entire core is shredded. It's really only one, two, three, four, maybe six outer defenses left. He's got a huge pack of wizards with two golems tanking on this side. Queen's doing some work. is about to have to hit her ability, um, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> like how this golem was down here forever. Uh, a few wizards coming in behind that now, so it's just going to keep walking up with the wizards um, backing them up. Queen's about to beat through this wall and then smack her ability. Or sorry, I guess she redirects there on the gold storage, but I do know that ability is coming any second now. Uh, golem's still doing tanking, like just these ring bases, like you get the golems into the ring and they keep going, just keep going, just getting huge, huge value from the golems there. Oh, this was the wall I'm talking about. Going to walk in here and just kind of finish the cleanup. There's really just an archer tower remaining, kind of a slow process there, but um, yeah, fantastic job, Ivan. <laughs> Great three star. Beautiful. Three in the bag. All right, this was the first attack I had meant to show. Oh no, that's right. This is our next one. Um, Ivan actually had a six star war um, against Town Hall 10, so that's really cool. <coughs> Check out Malfunction. Town Hall 9 stepping up, can X style. Um, goes the Suicide Hero Quad Lalo. Um, just like a KNX triple here, but with Town Hall 9 troop spells and uh, levels and army camp sizes. Uh, but you see the king hops right in there, smashes down that queen like a boss, going to turn right on that air defense. Air defense is now down. Uh, does not even use his queen for that portion. I thought that was really cool. Um, Haste goes down. Couple loons on each defense. Uh, just look at the meticulous precision placement for all of his balloons. Uh, I love the... Uh, you know, you can tell he two fingers, the hound, and then the loons right behind the hound. Um, Mal just has this Lalo down to a silence. Uh, eh, sci science. Jesus, I can't speak tonight. <laughs> um, 
but you can tell because uh, he's such he's so accustomed to the Lalos from Town Hall Nine. Just this is just a, the same the same thing to him, right? With Inferno Tower, so um, gets both two rages going down over that core. Really, there's just that one multi-target Inferno that he needs to worry about. All the crossbows were expos were set to ground. Um, so if you take a look here, there isn't much remaining after that air defense goes down. There's a Wizard Tower and two Archer Towers uh, to go with that cannon over there, not doing a thing. Sexy attack, Mal. Oh, wait. Was that a swag queen he just dropped on the side there that just locked on the Lava Hound and did nothing this whole raid? That's right. <laughs> the swag <laughs> the swag queen TH9 step up hitting a 10. Beautiful job, Mal. Sexy, sexy tree star. All right, so like I said, there's another Town Hall 10 triple. Nothing special. That was like a single Inferno super rush base. So uh, starting from their top nines there, I had... Who did I have? 15, yeah, Andrew. Um, <clears throat> so Andrew brings uh, max attack here, but what I thought was really cool was... Andrew doesn't get everything he intended to get in this max attack with this kill squad, but still manages to keep his composure. I, I've done a couple of videos, or at least uh, shown a couple attacks before where they do not go the way that is planned or that um, something wrong happens or they don't get everything they need to get. And it still turns out to be a three-star because they just kind of keep their composure, um, you know, make sure their spell placements are on, make sure their troop placements are still on. They don't give up. And this is what Andrew does here. Um, not a huge deal, but I don't know how many times I'm planning a Lalo and you go in and your goal is to get two air defense, the defensive queen, and the CC. So everything's going to plan. Poison goes down. Everything's looking pretty sweet at this point. The heal goes down and the king's not standing in it, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't really, is not taking a point of damage, but look how everything starts moving up to the left. Nothing takes a turn to the right. This queen kind of ends up standing there and takes out some of this stuff. But this air defense does not go down. And I can tell you I'm 99% sure in saying Andrew had intended for that air defense to also go down. You see the queen kind of uh, waste a little bit of her ability there on the skeletons, but took down the expo, turns on the Tesla, but then locks on to the middle and it is game over. So Andrew knows that and just says, okay, well, I just need to have a plan for this air defense on the back. He's going to continue his normal deployment. I guarantee this initial deployment was was all gone gone to plan so far um gonna end up moving all this stuff over to that next air defense getting great tanking from those hounds for his loons like look how all those loons are right on top of that tesla farm before the teslas lose aggro um and they, that whole section almost went down at the same time the way he deployed his loons so same thing on this side exactly the same thing pushes all those balloons in into like the the single row of defenses and then they all die at almost the exact same time so drops three balloons on this back side i thought that was great it's distracting like the perfect timing of that it's just distracting the the <clears throat> air defense to buy this group of balloons just enough time to get over here and if you watch the balloons go down and he doesn't actually kill all the defenses with those balloons all balloons are down but look at this hero golem if it weren't for that golem stepping over to this air defense uh, he would not have got the three star here i thought that was really awesome and on top of it comes over here to tank the wizard tower for the pups and the minions like clutch hero golem look at that look at that almost dead and they get in just in time i thought that was just awesome great job andrew sexy tree star again in the bag so um moving on here what else did i have number was 25 yeah we're gonna show a couple off the lower half of the map uh nammer um, I wanted to show this attack because it's a basic standard shattered goho. And I was talking about this in my last recap. Um, I'm hoping some of you guys can benefit from, cause this is a, you know, a new town hall nine drops the level one cro expos, um, has all town hall eight defenses, otherwise fairly low level heroes. So I know in my mini clan, I see these all the time in farming wars. So this is how you do it, guys. For these kind of weaker bases, there's not a lot of, of locations. So look at this base here, right? He knows there's probably all the Teslas in the core because unless they're, unless they're kind of in these odd positions. But as you'll see, he also knows there's bombs, I think, in these 
locations. So there goes that first Tesla. So he knows things are on track. Um, sorry, he doesn't get the bombs. I believe maybe the bombs are in the core. But goes in, he gets the CC lure, takes care of the defensive queen, and the kill squad's job's basically done. They don't end up getting any bombs, but if you look at the way this base is, there's not a lot of positions. In fact, if you think about it, they're either in the core, one or two places, in the, I guess one of three places, in the core, beside this archer tower, or somewhere on the outside. So there goes the bomb in the court. So looking good. Not even an upgraded bomb, but we'll just forget that for now. Uh, because if you look at this base, there's only so many places that things could be. So Nam just recognizes that. Honestly, just steps in here uh, with all his hogs, knows exactly how the pathing's going to go around the ring. And he's got nothing to worry about. Still has a heal in the bag for this section. So nice and patient with the heals. Cleanups all around the base. Just beautiful textbook shattered goho, Nam. No, like, sexy. Clean up time. Bam, bam, bam. So the two, so yeah, there was one bomb there. I think there's one here. He does not trigger. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be right there. Um, but see how when you look at that base, I mean, you would expect to, like, there's not room for two bombs there. I don't think there's room for two bombs there. So you think maybe a double in the core and then a single in one of those two spots. But you can basically judge where things are without even knowing where they are. And doing that, you can send in a kill squad at the correct location to eliminate double giant bomb spots and get their job done, taking care of that CC troops and the defensive queen. So nice job, Nam. All right, I have one more skipped here, actually. I'm going to show Lalo's attack here. On this very, very common base, I've seen this base... I don't even know how many times I have. I can't count how many times I myself have three started this base. Never mind, just seen it in a war. Like if I ever see it in a war, I avoid it like the plague, just because I'm sick of attacking it. Because you can do it so many ways, guys. Look what Chief Lalo brings here: cold blood and entry, line of wizards. He's gonna just kind of funnel everything into this chunk, make sure the CC is dead, and bam, Ingo about almost 20 hogs per finger. If you look at the way the pathing is going to go, really only a couple defenses here. Everything is just going to, it, it's just, it's symmetrical. It's just the most horrid symmetrical base. You can just know, look, where the hogs are going to go. You can tell, right? So you start dropping heals. Well, <laughs> there's no, no real spots for bombs. In this base, 99.99% of the time, in this little spot, there's a DGB. This guy opts for a single bomb. <laughs> Thank goodness, because a DGB would have taken out a huge chunk, but he has that other finger coming in from the other side, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. So Lalo just killed this garbage forum base, buddy. Nice job. <laughs> nice, nice job. <clears throat> I've used Gobaho on this base. I've used, I don't know. They change it up, too, sometimes. Sometimes the heroes are more on the inside, but regardless, it's it's doable in a hundred different ways. Um, anyhow, uh, I'm going to call it a night. It's like almost 3 in the morning here, I guess. Um, I did take a bit of a nap this afternoon. I'm on my Christmas holidays. So that was real nice, and I got up and figured I'd bust off the recap, and I just had a little surprise for you guys. You guys might even, you guys probably know about this already, but look at our current war bam random matchup with playing with coc playing with cox um this should be a good one you know these guys are uh these guys are really good they bring the heat they are fair play and this will be a doozy because i don't believe either side was expecting it um and I, I would at least hope either side knows was, was expecting it. And uh, we just get tossed into this. I don't know what that's all about, but uh, I'm sure they have their reasons. Anyhow, uh, I cannot wait to bring you this recap. Uh, 2.0 is gearing up. It was the late search to like 1 or 1 o'clock in the morning or something like that on Eastern Time Zone. And... Um, <laughs> Yeah, this should be a good one. I don't know what happened there, but the COC gods wanted to, wanted us to get matched up with playing with COC. So I'm looking forward to it because it's going to be a huge day. I'm I, Like I said, I'm on vacation, so I have all the time in the world to do some special stuff uh, for this war. Uh, hoping to maybe get some live attacks and some stuff like that in. So stay tuned, guys. I uh, hope you're enjoying the content. Uh, that does it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next three-star. And until then, I'm out. Oh,